Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. This is Julie Max in the Main Stamper, and I am creating a video today for you on the One Sheet Wonders. So this is geared toward my online club, and we are exploring designer series paper, which is beautiful, fabulous paper. Everyone loves the pretty designs. And this is a great way to use a 12 by 12 sheet of designer series paper. So you should have this template that I sent to you. This is a one sheet wonder template. Um, there'll be a picture of it on our Facebook page as well in case you haven't seen it yet. I'll make sure I post another picture of it out there. This is just one template of many. So if you go on to Pinterest, for example, and, and look up one sheet wonders, you're gonna find lots of different directions on how to take a 12 by 12 or even a six by six sheet of paper and then cut it up so that you can create a lot of cards like you're getting a lot of cards but they're not all three by four in size I mean anyone can take a 12 by 12 cut it into three by four pieces and you know create cards but these are designed to have different elements different sizes so that your cards don't all look cookie cutter the same but you're using one sheet of paper to get the job done and then creating a lot of great cards as well so I'm really excited about this um, this was just one design that I found on Pinterest that I thought was probably a very basic one. And as I was looking through the different designs and trying to um, find the best way to explain how to cut them, um, there is a theme, there is an easy way to cut your paper when you're taking one of these like call them recipes, right? They're like sample recipes. So you're going to want to look for the long lines. And I'm going to explain that to you. Um, as soon as I get over to my workspace, we're going to cut a piece together. So if you're watching at home, you can pause the video, grab out your paper trimmer, 12 by 12 piece of paper, the directions if you have them, but if not, that's okay. I'm going to walk you through step by step how to create this particular pattern. And then you can keep this video for future reference if you ever want to recreate this as well. So again, on Pinterest, lots of ideas. You can find different um, recipes for the One Sheet Wonders. They're called One Sheet Wonders. Um, we are going to jump over to my workspace now, and we're going to get going on this particular recipe, if you will. All right, so I have my um, camera up a little bit higher today so that I can try to get as much of the, um, the, the cutting into the screen as I possibly can. Now, the papers you, um, my online club has at home right now are from the Friendly Hello um, celebration. So if you spend $100, you get a stamp set and this 12 by 12 paper. So I cut up some 12 by 12s and I sent them on to you guys. So that is where this paper collection comes from. And these are the couple of sheets that I have left. Now, of course, all of the Stampin' Up! Designer Series paper is double-sided, right? So you have different designs. Now, something to keep in mind if you're cutting up different paper at home, is the orientation of a design in particular. So sometimes you're gonna have designs that really need to be one side up, but if you have a design that you can use in any kind of direction, it's gonna make your life a lot easier. So look for those easy ones to start with. I wouldn't start with ones that have words on them or really specific um, patterns that need to be upright in any kind of a way. All right, so this is, again, our template. I'm going to cut up a piece of paper here. I'm gonna set one aside and we're gonna do this together. So when I talked earlier about common lines, what you wanna do when you're looking at your template is find a long line that's gonna go all the way top to bottom or all the way straight across side to side. So the very first common line, I'm gonna use some highlighters here I think too and try to show you this. The very first cut that we're gonna make is this line right here because as you can see, if I lift it up, oh, maybe you can't see the highlighter a little bit, you can. From here to here, there's a straight line that goes down and that's our first common line. So the rest of them are kind of choppy, so we don't wanna just start hacking away at our paper. We wanna take long cuts first. So the first cut we're gonna make, and I have some notes over here and I'll make sure that I have a better image of this for our page as well. But the very first cut we're gonna take from our 12 by 12 paper is a one inch cut. So you're just gonna put your paper into your paper trimmer at one inch exactly. Let's see, I think this is probably easier for you to see up here. So here's my one inch right here. So I'm gonna line this up at one inches, right? 12 by, uh, 12 by 12 paper right now, a one inch cut. So I just cut off. Um, so right, right now I have a one by 12 piece of paper and that is this very first cut right here. One inch is off, we're good to go. Now we're gonna take this strip of paper and we're gonna cut it into fours. So you can see on your paper uh, template here, you got four inches, four inches, four inches. So I'm gonna set my other paper aside here real quick. 
and I'm just going to turn this on my trimmer here and I'm going to cut it at four, bring this down a little bit, and then I'm going to cut it at four again. And now I have three one by fours. So these are three one by fours. That's our very first cut. So we've got this part right here. That's the very first section we just did. We've got our very first cut in. Okay. So now at this point, we still have a 12 inch piece of paper, but now our paper is 11 inches. So we have an 11 by 12 because we cut an inch off. Okay. So we're going to rotate our paper a quarter of a turn. So this is the 11 inch side. Now, if you have a ruler and it's easier for you to grab out a ruler, no, nope, I lied. This is the, um, this is the 11 inch right here. So 11 inches, grab out your ruler so you can follow along, right? So 11 inches, we're going to cut four and a quarter by 11. Let me move my little strips aside here. Let me get these off of my paper trimmer. All right. So we're going to do four and a quarter by 11. So we're going to make sure we've got the 11 inch in here. So I'm going to lift this up a little bit here so you can see 11 inches. This is the 11 inch paper right here. This, um, uh, cutting, um, handle here also has a ruler on it, but it is harder to see, but I do have the 11 inches and I'm going to cut it at four and a quarter. Okay. So I'm going to show you on here real quick what we're cutting next. We're going to cut this section right here because our next common line, I'll take the green highlighter this time. So our next common line of all of the lines that are left on here is this one right here. So this one right here, right here, we're going to make this cut. So you can see that this is four and a quarter this way, and this is the 11 inches this way because we've already cut off an inch over here. So let me go ahead and make that cut at four and a quarter. Make sure I've got it at four and a quarter. And here's our cut, four and a quarter by 11. We'll set our paper aside. So right now what I'm holding on to is this section right here. And I'll just highlight this real quick. So all this in green right here at the bottom of this template, this is this paper right here. So as you're looking at this, you're going to see that you need to do a four inch and a four inch, and then you're going to have a three inch left over because we have 11 inches length of paper right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut four inches and then I'm going to move my paper back over to the four inches. I'm going to do another four inches. Okay. So I should have four inches by four and a quarter for these two papers, which is correct. And then this paper right here is my remaining three inch paper. And this one is the one that we're going to create a diagonal cut on. So we're going to line it up in the paper trimmer and we're going to do a corner and a corner opposite corners here on our trim track. And I'm just going to cut this. And now I have the two diagonal pieces. So the two, so the pieces that I just cut now are these two pieces right here. And then these two diagonal pieces, right here. So those are the next section. So this green section is complete. This yellow section we did first. So now we have this paper left over right here. So let me bring my paper back in so you can kind of follow along and see. So we have these, the section, we have this paper. So now I'm, again, I'm looking for the long common line. So the long common line that I'm going to cut first is going to be this one right here. So you can see that once I cut this in half, I'm going to have two more sections that I'm going to be able to work with. But first I'm going to cut it in half. Now this is 11 inches long and I'm going to put it um, in my trimmer and cut it at five and a half. So I'm basically cutting this sheet in half. So now I have two of the exact same size, which is exactly what we've got here. We've got this piece right here and we've got this piece right here. So we're going to do them one at a time. And this one is easier to work with. So we're going to start with this one. So for this piece, we're going to rotate it this way and we're going to be cutting <clears throat> two and a half and then two and a half. So I'm going to put this in here at two and a half and these should be five and a half. So if you're, if you're going along and you just want to make sure, grab out your ruler, look at the directions. These are the two and a half by five and a half. And there's going to be two of these. So I've got two and a half by five and a half times two. Okay, so that takes care of these two right here. We're going to cross them off again. So those two are done. Now we have this piece left over. This one is uh, two and three quarters inch wide. And the directions say to cut four and a quarter. Now this little piece right here is actually a scrap. It's an extra piece. 
You could, you know, keep this as one piece and use it and not have a scrap, but because I'm following the directions to the T, I'm going to cut it at four and a quarter. And this is what you have in your kits at home as well. So you have this piece right here, which is four and a quarter by two and three quarters. This is a scrap. This is the only piece that we're not going to be using in this entire situation. So we're going to set that aside. And that takes care of this section right here. And now you can see we just have this section left right here. And here is our paper. All right, so if we come down here to step number four, we're going to rotate our paper to five and a half by seven and three quarters. And we're going to cut it at four and a quarter. Now this one that's cut at four and a quarter, this is a pretty big piece. We're going to diagonally cut this one as well. So we're going to end up lining up the ends corner to corner here in our track and trimming. And we're getting two large uh, diagonal cut pieces. So that would be this right here. So we just took care of those pieces there. Now this is the remaining piece right here. And it tells me that I should cut it at three and a quarter, and then I'll have one left over at two and a quarter. So I'm gonna cut this at three and a quarter this way. And here is my two and a quarter by three and a half. So I'm gonna just real quick measure two and a quarter, three and a half. So these are all of the pieces that you have. We just finished the last two pieces there. So that was a 12 by 12 sheet that got cut up into this one, one sheet wonder template. Now let's just lay them out real quick and then you can kind of see. So if you've got your pieces at home and you want to kind of lay them out according to your template, right? So you're going to have your three long pieces here at the end. Then you should have two big rectangular pieces or I'm sorry, diagonal pieces right here, right? Then this one down here is your three and a quarter and then your two um, and a quarter. Then down here, you've got your big chunky four by four and a quarters down this way. Now down here at the bottom over here, you've got your two diagonals, your smaller diagonals that you did. And then up here, you've got a piece with a scrap that we didn't use. And then you've got your two long pieces just like this. So hopefully that's kind of all in the camera there. Um, I can move it over just a smidge here. Now, if you um, like this a lot, you like this idea, and you want to just take a piece of paper, maybe that's not even your favorite pattern design, and you want to cut this up, and then you want to save it so that you can use it for future. Um, the cardboard um, backing that comes in with your designer series paper, obviously it's 12 by 12 because your paper fits in this pack. You could glue these papers onto a sheet of this cardboard and just have it for reference for any time that you want to um, easily just have a visual of what all these papers look like when they're all cut up. But this is how we cut our 12 by 12 for our one sheet wonder. And that was the first step in our process here. So there we have it. That was how easy it is to cut um, your one sheet wonder. So basically, again, to sum up, you're looking for your long common lines. You want to be able to make a long cut, chop your paper into sections, and then make sub cuts from there. So I hope that that makes sense to you. Um, it is really easy to do. You can you know, rewatch this video and kind of play along with your paper at home if this is something that you're interested in doing with some 12 by 12s, get a little practice in. Um, that's it for this very first video. I'm going to come back with another video that will be separate and then we're going to talk about how to use all these beautiful papers on some card projects. So you're going to need at least 11 card bases from this one piece of 12 by 12 designer series paper. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Come look for me in the next video and we will continue on with our one sheet wonder training process. Thanks for watching. Bye.